Let's kill them before they run. Bam! Bam! And here we go. Is it a full is it a full roaming horde? Oh yes! Yes! Greetings guys and girls and fellow gamers, my name is Games of Kings and welcome back to Smarter Days to Die, which is all we play really in the moment. Back with War of the Walkers, yes! And you can see the time difference between the end of the last episode and the beginning of this episode, and that is because I have been journeying around. Oh my dear lord, and what POIs I came across on my travels and another town, Asian City 2, I call it because it's all that nice Asian setup and it has loads of buildings, these towers, it's amazing. But these POIs are absolutely amazing. I even named them Wow POI, Wow POI 2, and Wow POI 3. I would have named them something else but you can't put that much text in but today we're going to one of the locations I marked with an X maybe base which should have a good location we're gonna see what materials we have we're gonna start planning out our base and then maybe visit a POI but I want to be careful because these POIs I have a feeling are more than one episode to cover each they're unbelievably awesome looking oh I'm really excited I might show you the outside of one like you know because we have Horde night Anyways, enough waffle! I hope you guys are gonna enjoy the episode. If you do, remember to kick that like button in the balls to support the channel. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. So let's get started. Now, I'm not gonna use flagstone for my base uh, or the frame. I'm gonna use rebar frames because I can't make concrete yet. But I was thinking like, okay, I'm gonna use flagstone, then upgrade the flagstone. No! I did that in Valmod and it got us into a lot of trouble because I ended up upgrading all that flagstone even though I could make cement. So what I'm gonna do instead is... I'm going to learn how to make the concrete mixer when I have two more points available to me. Thank you very much. And then we're going to build ourselves a concrete mixer, which I'm assuming we can build with that. So, um, and we have all the resources, I'm pretty sure. So, what we're going to do in the meantime, though, is we're going to head out. We're going to make some rebar frames. There we go. We're going to put that on this so we have room. Rebar frames. Excellent. Oh, no! 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 Crafted in the forge with an anvil, but I have an anvil, but I have a forge, but it's not. Why? Oh, look at that. I'm queuing up all these things. It's just because I'm making a lot of spikes. We have actually already done 120 iron lock spikes, and that's in preparation for the next horde. Because in this horde, I already have surrounded the base with everything I got. It was about two rows of spikes. Well, two rows wherever there was a gap, so I made them all even. There's one row here, two rows there. It should be enough! We have guns, we have bullets, it should be fine. Absolutely no problemo. So, let's go and see why we can't make rebar frames. That really is now, that, that caught me off guard now. Why can we not? Place an upgrade, construction, upgrade, moment, try. Using secondary action. Okay, let me see. Maybe construction. Something with... Oh, concrete construction. Rebar frames. Ooh, level 60. Ow! That is not good. But I want to. But I wanna. Okay, then all we can do is this. Can we at least make cement? Is that something we can do? Last thing I need is unlock this and then we can't even make cement. Oh, we can make a cement mixer! Genie Mucker Balls, why did not? I, I didn't, it's, oh, you know what? It's probably from one of the classes, crafted in the workbench. This is probably from one of the classes, because I haven't unlocked it. Why, why, what? I'm confused now. Concrete, oh, that's concrete mixing. That is to make cement. All right, that is awesome. So I'm learning to read now today. So this is, yes, I'm doing really well. This is my second week in learning how to read. So, <laughs> so why don't we take the smallest of engines and make a concrete mixer with four springs? There we go. I keep pressing the mouse wheel. This is really something I would love from Minecraft. Like, you know, the mouse wheel taking individual items. That was an awesome feature. I wonder if that could be modded in. I don't know. This is a hotkey mod. It's probably different. I don't know. Maybe it's a thing. Maybe not. Who knows? Maybe someday. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we have to be careful. We only have 292 left. This maybe causes a problem. So 25 forged iron. Uh, forged iron. Oh, yeah, of course. They're in our little box over here. 25. And here we are. Look at that, how like a ninja. Bam! All right! And here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh yeah, a mixer. And while this is building, this little beauty, we're gonna go out and I'm gonna scout out the area and I'm gonna show you with wood frames where we're gonna build. Because we can't do anything anyway. We can't make cement, we can't make rebar frames, which means we're gonna use the cement to make concrete blocks. I assume that's a thing. Excuse me, oh, I have the, sh the chickups, the hiccups. Concrete blocks. Okay, yes, we've, we can make it. Yes, awesome. We can make the wettest of all concrete. Where's my bike? 
Oh, it's right there. Bikey! You... You... Okay. Come on, you. Look at that. We have a Remington with like 115 bullets. You know why? You know why? Because we're still on one of the marksman levels, which is like kill 25 zombies using Remington 8. Yeah, and we're going to go out at night and it's going to be awesome. And look at me. Did you see actually my, my get up now? I have the Kevlar helmet. If you have missed the last episode where we finished all these class quests to get all the rewards, go back and watch it now and follow me on Twitter as well. Like, so you can keep up to date with all the shenanigans we are up to and any videos that I posted potentially late or not at all. Or... <laughs> <laughs> for the nude pics that nobody has yet seen because they weren't following me on Twitter. So, let's see. Where's my little marker? X marks the spot. Is that at the spot? I don't want to have another X on the map. No, see? See? This is another X. I nearly went to the wrong one. That would be so typical me, like, following the wrong bloody X. Now, first of all, I want to chop down this tree because I want to see if I get another one of those white tree seeds because I love these trees. They're so gorgeous. They're like these trees, except white. They're like gorgeous. Okay, so let's see. Please give me a seed which is white. Bam. And bam. Yes, we got two. This is awesome. We're going to plant two of them. Oh, that's so amazing. Thank you. Why, why are you all square? Why are you all weird square? Okay. There we go. And... We're gonna put the other one right here. It's so hard to line it up if you're doing weird things like that. Is it here? Is it here? Okay, let's put it here. We're gonna have two white trees. We're gonna have a white tree farm before you know it. I love those trees. They were my favorite trees. They always make everything look like Christmas, but nice outside. <laughs> I was just referring to a tweet. I was reading a tweet and I think it was uh, partially royal. He was saying like, you know, oh, when do you start preparing for... Um, I think we missed it. When do you start preparing for Christmas? Is it straight after Thanksgiving? You know, the 1st of December, blah, blah, blah. And I basically said, if I wouldn't have kids, I wouldn't do feck all. Because it's like, my, my wife enjoys the whole thing. Like, you know, making the Christmas tree and doing all that. Well, she doesn't make the Christmas tree, but like, you know what I mean? Like, uh, dressing it all up and putting all the decorations on, putting all the decorations outside, putting all the lights on. Not mad outside. No, we're not mad on the lights, side, lights outside the house. It's like, you know, this like, no. It's one of those things where you say, this looks awesome on other people's houses for us. Like, yeah, you know when something looks awesome, but you only like looking at it in other places and you just don't really want it involved in your life. So that's pretty much that. But um, yeah, if it wouldn't be for my wife and for my kids i would do nothing i wouldn't even i wouldn't care okay because to me it's just it's just another day it's and it's snowing outside and we get time of work that's the only benefit <laughs> anyway this is the spot because we have a huge area here which seems to be flat and i mean flat okay i don't think there's anything in this area here, and I keep pressing my uh, special button to, to, oh my god, to, um, ex, ex, whatever it's called, or extract, or, you know, to vein mine, genie marker balls. Now, I also made the, whatchamacallit, the, am I stupid now? What is it called? The nail gun! Genie marker went completely blank there. It's my punishment for not celebrating Christmas. And um, it's a main nail gun, which is absolutely awesome. Now, we need one more level. Come on, let me learn cement, baby. Level me up and give me those delicious points. I need only two more of the delicious points. And then we can make the cement mixing. Yes! So, we're going to clear this area out here because I think... Oh, we need to kill zombies with the gun. Hello? Okay, I just wanted to make... That was a warning shot, lady. It was a warning shot. And... Don't you get up when I'm shooting at you. How dare you? Anybody else around? It would be good if there would be another 24 zombies that would be coming around here. Thank you very much. Okay, we're gonna need some light. Anyway, um, tonight we're streaming, which means by the time you see this video, it's gonna be yesterday. And I think, I was asking on Twitter, and it looks like you guys actually want to... Oh, we got some points. We can learn the concrete mixing. Oh, yeah, baby. Now we can do concrete mixing. Yes! Concrete mix and cement and everything wetty cement. Oh, look at that. Din, 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 din. Back! Right in the face. Is he dead? Yeah. He kind of wasn't sure if he was dead. He was kind of thinking about it. And I think then he lay down and decided it was a good, 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 good point in his life to lie down. 
We got chainsaw parts. I love it. I can't wait for a chainsaw. I think, I don't know if I have a chainsaw or not, but it's gonna be awesome, okay? Taking trees down with chainsaws. I think I have one. Yes, we did. We did actually earlier do that. That was amazing. So let's check, check down all these trees. Take down all these trees here as well. So we have a lot of room and we need a lot of materials because I wanna mail, build a base that is gonna be um, nice. Okay, and it's gonna be useful and it's gonna be full of traps But we're going to be using our base probably for the next two horde nights over there the, the POI um, Just to get it safe, you know like to start building on top of that with the traps and build this one here for kind of looks first But it will also serve as our mining outpost for underground mining, okay? Um, so that we oh look at that. We got blueberries. That's always very nice. I love it Okay, any more zombies and guns and where's my bike? I want to stay near my bike, of course, which is I have no idea Bikey there genie mark. How come I never see it? I have to do like a full I, I sometimes I believe me I, I think it's making itself invisible Okay, just on purpose because I could be starting here and do a full circle and don't see it and then all of a sudden I see it. It's like sometimes I think it's intentionally hiding itself. So we want to yeah, kill it, kill it, kill it with fire. And then and then and then raise it and then kill it again. Anyway, so what I was going to say about the stream is that we are going to stream tonight and we're going to check out a mod called Ravenhurst tonight. So we're gonna be spawning in some things and we're gonna be playing around with it. It's not gonna be a playthrough thing on Twitch. It's gonna be literally us uh, doing the beginning maybe properly and then just going to god mode and just spawn shit in. Okay, and oh, I heard something. I thought I heard somebody complaining. Oh no, it must have been just me because I complain a lot. So I must have just hurt myself from a different dimension. That would be so weird. Can you imagine? I would. I, I'm such a winch bag. I would just be so sick and tired of myself. So we're gonna clear out this area a little bit more. And anyway, Ravenhurst. Yeah, it has. Um, you, you might say, what does this mod do that the others don't? Well, I think it's kind of well. I played about an hour of it. Yeah, but only very early beginning, like by myself properly without cheat mode. Yeah, and it looks like it's a nice mixture between. It looks like Starvation Mod and War of the Walkers mixed together. It has lovely elements from War of the Walkers, like similar to that, some of the very basic uh, uh, changes to XML files, and I just shot you right in the ass. Come on. Nice. The, oh, that was right in the foreface. Love. Oh, yes! Here comes our 24 zombies, and let's kill them before they run. Let's kill them before they run. Bam! Bam! And here we go. Is it a full is it a full roaming horde? Oh yes. Yes. We're gonna get our class rewards. It's gonna be amazing. It's going to be amazing. And anyway, it looks like a nice mixture between War of the Walkers and Starvation. What I mean by that is War of the Walkers has some nice, really nice touches like the classes, specific, uh, and some things which are specific to the class classes that other classes can't do, yeah? And it has a little bit of that as well. So each class gets like a unique weapon or a unique tool or a unique station it can make that, that no other class can make. But not overpowered, like say for example the survivor. Yes, we leveled up again! And did we kill 25 zombies? Zombies. Was that 25? 18? Are you kidding me? I still need seven zombies. Are you kidding me? Anyway, so um, it has like for example uh, things like uh, if you pick a survivor you can make a repeating crossbow But you cannot make a repeating crossbow with any other class, but you can make a crossbow So it's not really a loss to other classes, but it's a nice bonus to the class. Oh, hello Oh, that was the worst shot ever, and you know what? That's probably how it shoot in reality. That I, I really want to learn how to shoot. I'm an island. We don't have guns. Yeah, I don't know if we have shooting ranges, but I can imagine they're pretty boring. So what I really would love to do is go somewhere in the world where you can uh, shoot any type of gun, and I would love to learn how to shoot uh, one of those guns, and then um, a proper AK-47 or something like you know, just because I like on a proper range shooting range. I don't like guns, like, but I like the idea of like you know shooting a gun, and um, I would love to do that. And just be on a shooting range or something and like completely destroy a target like you know I get the recoil right in my face like and will come home with a blue eye. What happened? Did you get mugged? No, I, I shot a gun and it hit me right in the face <laughs> Something like that and I would love to hold a desert eagle in my hand. I had a fake one once like um, in Germany you're allowed to have fake guns so um, they look like real guns But they shoot um, 
pellets, like, you know, but they look like real guns, like, and they're heavy, actually, like, real guns. Well, I assume they're heavy, like, real guns. But um, they're really awesome. They're, like, replicas that shoot, like, harmless pellets or whatever. And you don't need a license for it, like, which is great. So I used to have that, like, you know, because it looked awesome. But anyway, so... We have cleared out our area, and just to stick on topic there to finish this off, yes, so Ravenhurst, so I hope you did watch the stream and come by, and if you did, I hope you enjoyed it, I hope we had a lot of fun, I don't know yet, because it's not happening yet until in about two hours, so um, hopefully we had fun, I, I really look forward to it, because the mod looks really good, it also has loads of guns, different guns, and different guns textures, and different modifications for guns, so we're going to be looking at that as well, so, or oh, have looked at that by the time you see this, which is awesome. Okay, so I think we cleared everything out, do we have a weed one? Macaroni, actually, let me see here. Do we have a weed? A hand weeder. Yes, we do. And we can craft one. Do you know what? Let's go back to base for a second and let's go and get those cement going. And then we come back out here and with a with a weed weed wakaruni. And we're gonna clear an area out and we're gonna start building because this is really, really awesome. This area is I know it's probably on a slight tilt. But it shouldn't be too much. It should be really easy manageable. Now the concrete mix setup is going to take a while. So what we're going to do is we're burning a lot of stone right now. I'm just going to let this continue. I don't even know if we're going to let this finish. But it doesn't matter. We're going to continue it in the meantime. Now I also have set this up. And that's to make sand. I know I can get sand from the desert. and we get, Actually I don't know where it is. There's the desert. There we can go there I suppose to get sand. Do we do that now at night? No. But I also made some sand there. Like it doesn't matter. We get stone really really quickly. But what I would like to do is because I can do I have a Mailer let me see here. Do we have oh we already had a hand weeder. Okay, that's actually really good because then I can merge these two together So I can repair this Nice and then I can merge these two together. Look at that nice 259 so not making a difference, but doesn't matter doesn't matter there we go. We're going to put these guys back. Now, oh, look at that. We have some more iron here as well. That is awesome. Let's put that in there. Look at that. Very good. So everything is burning away. Everything is making waves. And 8,000 iron. After we extract all that, I think what we might want to do then in this case is... There we go. Just divide it. It's so hard to divide things by three with the game mechanics here. It's like, oh my dear lord. You have to divide it by four every time and then do three parts. And now you just divide the rest. There we go. This one is not burning as much. Okay, it's now five. There we go. Nice. Everything evenly spread out, making loads of stone. Now, um,. What we're going to use in the meantime is we're literally just gonna go down actually. So well, let's start in the middle center in the center to do our Let's do our mine first. We're gonna dig in from the top That's where we're gonna get in and that will have a separate entrance. We're gonna go down. We're gonna go to bedrock We're gonna try every, uh, um, to make it a nice big area. We can start mining and then we're gonna bring this guy downstairs because uh, down in that hole oh we make another few because it is very important that we don't really need to mine for stone like you know it's fine like you know we can do everything up here sorry we, can, we don't need to be downstairs to make uh, in the on the bedrock to make the cement but it's very handy as you mine for stone to constantly have something make sand to constantly have something make cement uh, to constantly have something make uh, concrete mix so it would be good to have that set up underground and then we just hide it away and that's it and then we're going to build a tunnel system to our way we're actually gonna have our base so let's start with the hole what I'm looking for is I thought we had a chainsaw I have these chainsaw parts here now but I thought we already had a chainsaw I mean did we not have some fun with it and cut things apart or was that in was that in oh that, that was in Valmont no I, I'm really I'm positive it wasn't here I can't believe it I we have an auger plate we have auger parts and I think that's pretty much it. Eco chainsaw. Oh, do you know what? It wasn't stream. That's where it was. Yes. We're playing too many games, man. Too many games. There we go. Now, off we go. 
and we're going to just dig down and we're going to use this one here that should be okay i mean it's like two three shots and then we should get down and we're going to have we have a lot of wood with us so we can make more wood frames and ladders and all the shenanigans leave actually a thousand here leave half here so we don't run dry did i leave any more wood anywhere no but let's leave it here so we don't run dry completely so off we go and hopefully we're gonna find those other six zombies soon like because it would be great like to kill them in the forest, it's always a bit iffy, though, because if you get them, it's I, I find it hard to hit them with the Remington. But um, it packs quite a punch. So maybe we can come across a zombie and just kill them on the way or something. That would be pretty awesome. Because I don't know if I feel comfortable at night time with a... So anyway, this is the flat area, and there's a zombie right there. Look at that. Beautiful. See? See? I can't hit... Crap. Unbelievable. I'm the worst shot ever. Okay, nobody else around. All right. So I think this area is flat. So let me see here. It seems to go on for quite a bit at the same exact height level. Oh, this is amazing. This is so flat. Look at that. We can make something really, really nice here. Hello? Okay. That was just an exploding body. And here we go. Oh, okay. Here, here it's going to go down now. But that's okay. If it's only going down by one here, then that's fine. This is still a huge area. And it's probably all flat going like in either of these directions. So I think we're going to be doing all right. Oh, it's going a little bit up here. But the difference is very small, so that's actually really, really good. Because we're going to be digging probably a little bit of a hole anyway to put our base in. So, this is nice. I like it. Okay, so now, for our mining cave, we want to maybe go a little bit further out. I would say potentially 50 blocks out. Okay? So, about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, only approximately. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40, and then maybe here. Is that wide enough? Is that long? Is that, is that, is that that's, that's long enough. Yeah, about 50, I would say. So let's put it about here, and this is where we're going to start digging down. All right, so let's do this. We have a shovel. Excellent. Okay, that wasn't really exciting. There we go. Now we're going to close this off. There we go. Okay, that's still dirt. Very good. And let's see how fast, how far it is to bedrock. And once we're down... There we go. Nice. And now we have uh, stone. Now you see, actually two hits. That is, this is awesome. It's like, oh man. And this is such a fast pickaxe. I love it. I love it so much. Now even with no stamina, it's only four hits. And it's really, really fast, yeah? So it's absolutely fine. I know I get less resources, but I don't care about the number of resources right now. I care about getting down to bedrock. So I hope we weren't too up high in the hills. Because it was a nice flat area and it wasn't really hilly. So it, it should be really, really good. I just queued up some wood frames. And where did I get 10,000 wood from? I thought I had like a couple of thousand and that was it. I know I got 10,000 wood as a reward. But I made 100 spikes. Which um, is 2,000 wood only. Okay. Did I... Oh, maybe I had two blocks here. I don't know. When I clicked the sword, I saw the 10,000. I was like, okay, I'm going to have to look back at the footage because that is really surprising me now. There we go. We are bedrock. Now, before we do anything else, what, we, what we're going to do is we're going to not pull up and count because it is it's quite a way. So it's one, two, we don't count. No, I made 100 blocks for a reason. We basically not pull up. And once we're all the way up, we're going to make another hole right in front of it and upgrade these blocks um, along the way down and that means that we can then have a nice solid block we can put a ladder on and of course on the bottom of it we're gonna make a hay bale so we can jump down this whole thing but you always need to make two holes 
End of story. You can do them both at the same time on the way down, but I don't know. You can do it whichever way. Let's actually see how deep we are. I think we are pretty high up. I didn't realize that we were that high up because it didn't feel very hilly where we were. And I think we have the sea near us as well with the desert. So I was like, oh, okay, everything's pretty sea level. But it seems that we are actually quite high up. Look at that. We already passed 50 blocks. Holy balls. That is insane. Oh, no, don't do that. And we're nearly at the top. Look at that. Wow. Yep. 68 blocks. Well, okay, here you go. 67. Wow. Okay, are we gonna do the... Oh, look at that. Nice. There we go. 21 out of 25. I'm my little fort here. Nobody can see me now. You cannot see me now. I'm hiding away in my fort of solitude. Ha! Pam! Right in the face. You thought I was hiding. You thought I wasn't there. You couldn't see me in my fort of solitude. <laughs> I don't like having a tree right here. It's taken my few of the awesome. Come on. No more zombies. All right. Anyway, there wasn't a lot really we did today. <laughs> a lot of waffle, but I wanted to talk about Raven Heart. It's like Raven Heart, except Heart has the S. Harst. So it's Harst. If the word Heart has an S between the R and the T, do you pronounce it Raven Hurst or Raven Harst? If it's in English, would it not be harsh? I don't know. It's so confusing. <laughs> anyway, I think I'm going to leave this episode here, guys. There wasn't really a lot of things done, but we need to have these episodes where we have a bit of a grind, a bit of a laugh, a bit of a waffle, a bit of a banter, a little bit of a... I don't know. I just tried to make it sound better than it actually was. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it somewhat. If you did, remember to kick that like button in the balls, and I hope to see you guys in the next episode. And if you're new to the channel, whoop, and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time. Until then, as always, feel Spaß, and happy gaming. We're nearly finished. We have enough letters left, and... We're done. Look at that. Awesome sauce. Now, let's just... Put some of these guys there. Excellent. And now we can put a... Whatchamacallit? Hatch. Let's put a wooden hatch on it. There we go. Look at that. All done, baby. Yes. I'm going to go down here. And... Bye-bye. <laughs> I love it. Oh, this is going to be awesome.